part here. It's all based on a very simple concept of energy balance. And so gaining some muscle, you're actually going to see to gain a little bit of fat as well, because it's just impossible to gain weight and lose weight at the same time. So gaining muscle, you're going to gain a little bit of fat, which means you're going to have to eat a lot. And that means you're going to have to eat more calories than you burn off. And so what we're going to be looking at today for you guys is basically setting an up an app, making sure we're tracking our calories so that we're, we're eating more calories than we burn, getting our protein in, and all of that is going to be key. Now, in terms of exercise, we'll do a little bit of exercising today. Uh, in terms of exercise, we're going to go through a few phases of exercising. So first of all, we're going to work on volume, right? This is training the muscle fibers, the muscle endurance. Second phase, we're going to work on hypertrophy. This is where we start increasing the weight and decreasing the reps, really making sure we're stressing those muscles, making those muscles grow. And then the third uh, phase is where, the, where we burn the fat. So this is where the abs are going to start coming out. Now, when you said you wanted to burn a little bit of fat or, or you wanted abs, abs typically stay in the kitchen, right? That's what they say. So you want to make sure that you're eating clean and eating well. Okay. Um, perfect. Sean, are you, are you ready for us? Yes. One, just one more. Perfect. Okay. So what we'll do today is we'll actually run you guys through a few assessments because I need to know what your bodies are capable of doing just so I know where we won't get hurt with any of the exercises. Okay. So let's just start with um, Alex and Tom here. What I'm going to get you to do is a few exercises. And the first exercise we're going to do is a squat. This is called an overhead squat. So what do you want you to do in this exercise is place your feet shoulder width apart or sorry, hip width apart, hip width apart. In this position, hi, Sean. Hello. We can do this together as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet hip width apart. We're going to have your toes pointing forward. You're actually going to have your hands straight up in the air, okay? Straight up in the air. Good. Now, what you want to do in this position is you're going to drive, drive your hips back and go into a squat. But in this whole movement, I don't want you to lean forward at all. You want to keep your posture up nice and straight down into your squat. Up. Okay, let's do 10, 1. Two, three, let's do it together. Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, and 10, awesome. Okay, let's stand sideways. I'm gonna get you to get up, do a side view for the camera and then do another 10. Um, and then let's do it so I can see your feet a little bit as well. Okay, I need to see your feet. Perfect. Okay, make sure your toes are pointing forward. Let's do 10 and one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Remember to have your toes pointing forward, eight, nine, 10. Okay, perfect. So this is very common. And I see this a lot at the gym is that when people are squatting, they tend to, their knees tend to go over the toes. So when you're squatting, I just want you to make sure I'm gonna squat to a certain point where I can still see my toes. And then I'm gonna drive the rest of the motion from the hips. So the hips come down instead. So I don't want my knees all the way here. That's overextending the knees. So push the knees back and then drop the motion with the hips. Okay, let's try a few more reps. Let's do 10. Ready, three, two, one, and one. Hands over your head. Two. Three. With the hips, with the hips. Four. Five, make sure your toes are pointing forward. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, Alex, how do you feel about the squat? Where do you do you feel any tightness in your legs at all? Uh, no, not really. Maybe one out of ten. <laughs> yeah. So, but when we're doing the squat, are you able to keep your toes pointed forward or do you feel like they come out a little bit? I think they come out a little bit. Because okay. I can't forward, I can't, maybe I can't stand really, uh, like, I can't really stand. Yeah. Stable if you, if I always point. Are you flat-footed? I, I, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, because what happens is, um, you don't have, you probably don't have support in your feet. Yeah. So my recommendation is to look into getting orthotics. Okay. What happens is when we're squatting, right. And then your feet start turning outwards like this, then you're, you're engaging some muscles that you shouldn't be engaging and you could get hurt potentially. So look into getting some orthotics. Okay. Uh, what about Tom? What do, what do you, how does it feel for him? I don't get him, man. Yeah, yeah he, he feel like pretty good. No problem. Does he feel any uh, tight muscles anywhere when he's doing the squat? Oh yeah, uh, his he has no. Yeah, because he exercises um recently with the legs. Okay, perfect. How about you, Sean? How do you feel? Uh, I feel all right. I yeah. don't think my toes are going outwards. Good. In the squats. Good. I notice you just have to go a little bit lower, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to move on to our next exercise, which is push-ups. Now, push-ups, what we're going to focus on is developing that chest muscle, shoulder muscle, as well as the arms. When we're doing the push-up, I'll cue you guys through it. What we want to do, hands shoulder width apart. Make sure your shoulders are right above your wrists, okay? Now you're gonna extend the legs. What we're gonna do in this position, you drop down, make sure your elbow's at a 45 degree angle from the body, up, down. Okay, we're gonna do 10 reps. If you can't do them all, make sure you can just going on your knees, okay? And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, one one really important thing that pe a lot of people don't do or forget to do is that engaging the right muscles is going to be very important so when you're doing the push-up i want you to make sure you're driving the tension of your hands this way what this will do is create more engagement in the chest so when i have my hands on the ground as i push up i'm going to drive my hand outwards you're not going to actually move your hands but you want to create that tension right what that does is create more engagement in the chest so let's try that again let's do 10 more and then try 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 doing that that motion Okay. Ready, go, and one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Awesome, looks good. Okay, now we're gonna go into our next exercise, which is the plank. All right, this one's gonna focus on the core as well as the shoulders and the quads. You're gonna have your forearm on the ground, extend the legs, make sure your shoulder is above the elbow. We're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go. Good. Uh, shoulders above the wrist, above the wrist, good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So Sean, um, one thing that I kind of noticed when you were doing your plank is the arch in the spine, right? So you have a little bit of arch here. And so the plank, the main concept is to make sure you're engaging the core. So when your spine is like this, you're not engaging the core. I want you to try and suck that core in and keep that spine straight. Okay, so good way to practice this is to stand in front of the wall and then make sure you're filling this gap between your lower back and the wall. Okay, um, I couldn't see your guys' because your camera was in the front, but if you do have that, a good way to practice it is to make sure you have, you have your core engaged. Oh no, you're frozen. All right. Oh, they're frozen. Yeah. Can you guys hear us? Okay. Oh, there you go. Perfect. So, Sean, you said you wanted to build muscle, right? Yeah, I think that's okay now. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go into our next movement, which is our lunge. So we're just gonna go through some basic movements today. Lunge, you're gonna have your feet hip uh, apart and you wanna make sure that when I come down into the lunge, both legs are 90 degrees. Make sure your body postures up nice and tall, shoulders back and up, boom, boom. Okay, make sure you're coming all the way up. I want you to drive, drive your weight through that front heel, okay? Perfect. Okay, let's not try leaning forward so much. Have your body posture completely straight. Boom. Let's do five more on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Let's do the other side. One, two, Three, four, five. Perfect, guys, that looks really good. We're gonna go into our next exercise. So for the next exercise, um, you guys can grab dumbbells or whatever. Um, you don't have to have a weight either. What I'm gonna use to demonstrate is just the pull. Okay, we're gonna do deadlifts. Now, if you've never done deadlifts, deadlifts are such a nice weight, Sean, I like them. So. Deadlifts are a very good exercise because you're building essentially your trap muscles and everything down to your calves. Okay, so we're gonna put a lot of this in our programming because one, it's gonna build a lot of muscle, two, it's gonna burn fat, three, it's gonna increase our human growth hormones that are essentially the hormones used to build muscle. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna have your weight right in front of you, okay? You're gonna have your feet hip width apart. Now the key to this exercise is making sure that you're pushing the bum out, but not bending with the knee. So you see I'm keeping the shoulders back, my chest is tall. Okay, you're gonna come all the way down. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. You're gonna come up, squeeze the glutes down. Um, now you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. Again, grabbing some dumbbells is gonna help. Okay, but I wanna make sure we're really getting this movement down. Okay, just keep going, just repeating the movement. Good, again, making sure I'm not bending the knee so much, it's all coming from the hips. It's all coming from the hips. Okay, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, Alex, you look like you've done this before. <laughs> okay, so. Um, one very important thing when you're doing the deadlift, I saw, I think one of you done this, we're doing this, is just to make sure that your knees, right, you're not coming down like this. You don't want to do that. 
because this exercise is supposed to focus more on the back and the hamstrings, you're doing this instead. Okay. So, because if my knee is all the way here, you're not going to feel that tension in the hamstring. So in this position, you're going to push the knees back and this and, and be in this position instead. Up. Okay, eventually, you're going to want to go really heavy with this one. Um, Sean, with your deadlift, um, make sure your back is nice and straight. Okay. So like when when you look in the camera or the webcam or whatever, you want to make sure that you manipulate your spine in a way where your back is not like this because this is putting too much stress on your back. So really make sure you're pushing that spine in, keeping that back straight. Okay. Good. Perfect. So we're going to do a lot more of these. Okay. Um, we're going to move on to our next exercise now. So our next exercise, I'm going to grab a pair of dumbbells. You can grab a kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever works best. But what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to be in this same position. Okay, so we're going to be in this same position here, right? Back straight and make sure your chin's nice and tucked. So a very important concept you should remember while you're doing your workouts is that everything from the top of your head all the way to your bum should be a straight line, completely straight line. Anytime I'm doing this or this, my spine is no longer straight. So make sure you're keeping your spine straight. So we're going to grab your dumbbells, keep your back nice and straight. And you notice I'm keeping my chest, so I'm engaging the back already. I'm not letting my back go like this or my shoulders go like this. So back straight, shoulders are back. And then you're going to pull the dumbbell up. As you pull the dumbbell up, you want to make sure you're really squeezing that back. All right, really squeeze the back. Boom. Boom. So again, just making sure that your shoulders don't go like this. All right, shoulders always pulled back. Squeeze the back, squeeze the back. Okay, keep going. Good. Good, good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Take a little break. We're going to do one more set of that. Now, when we're doing this exercise, again, I really, really want you to make sure that you don't bend your knees all the way like this, right? The key to this exercise is pushing the knees back, keeping the back straight. And you almost want to come down enough low, low enough so that you're able to squeeze that upper back as much as you can. So anytime I'm doing this exercise, another thing I want you to make sure of is you're keeping your wrist straight. Anytime your wrist goes like this or like this, you're not doing it right anymore. So when I'm doing this exercise, you're keeping the wrist straight. Squeeze the back. Keep the elbows tight to your body. Okay, let's do one more set. Ready, let's pick up the dumbbells. Awesome. So getting into this position, okay. keep the back nice and straight. Okay, and we're going to do 10 more reps, 10 really good reps. Ready, and one. Okay, make sure you bring your body down here. Two. Three, four, 
I want you to imagine you're squeezing your elbows together at the back. Okay, squeeze your elbows together. Let's do a few more. Let's see, three more, three, two, one. Okay, let's set the thumbnails down, perfect. Looks pretty good, guys. Now, the next exercise we're gonna do it aims for the shoulders, right? Um, this is gonna get us some big round shoulders. Grab your dumbbell. You're gonna pop them up, pop them up. Now this one is gonna be a very difficult one. So I want you to make sure you're getting the form right for this one. What you wanna do is squeeze the back, right? You wanna squeeze the core, make sure your spine is straight. And then you're gonna press up. Your elbows should be driven inwards. Your elbows don't wanna be out here. Elbows in, come up, and down, just like this, okay? That's right. Let's do 10 of those, good. Yep, and one, good, suck that core and keep that core tight. Down two, good, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, so you guys don't have a barbell, but I want you to imagine like you're doing it with the barbell. And the reason why is that this is gonna make your form a lot better because when you're doing it with the barbell, you're supposed to have the weight on your collarbone, your elbows supposed to be folded inwards and you're pulling your, your uh, shoulders back and then you press up. So this is the exact form you should do it with. And so you wanna do this except with the dumbbells. Okay, so at the top, you see how I'm kind of going forward with my head a little bit. That's gonna get me a full activation in the shoulder muscles. I'm down, up, boom. Okay, so I want you to grab your dumbbells again. We're gonna do 12 reps this time and then do it like you're doing it with a, with a barbell. Okay, ready, and one, two, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve. Good. So it's looking pretty good. How does uh, everybody feel at the moment? All right. All right. Any tight muscles? Uh, the shoulders. The shoulders are tight. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do now is basically go through uh, all of the exercises we've done uh, today starting with our squats, okay? Just give me a second here. So we're gonna do our squats again. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight forward. Anytime you feel like your toes are pointing out, pull them back in. You're gonna have your hands in the air. Ready, and one. 
Good. Up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull your toes back, toe, pull your toes back. Nine. One more. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go into our push-ups now. Hand shoulder width apart. Make sure your elbows are a 45 degree angle from the body. Ready, we're gonna do 10 reps. And one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, we're going to stand up. Gonna grab your bar, uh, dumbbells, and then we're gonna do 12 reps of these. Okay, I want you to do it with me. Watch my form very carefully and try to mimic my form. Ready, let's do 12. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, drop the dumbbells. We're going to go into our lunges. Okay, ready? We're going to do ten on each side. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switching legs, make sure your legs are going 90. So at this bottom position, see how my knees are 90 degrees? So I don't want to end up here. I want you to make sure that your legs end up here. Okay, let's do 10. And one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna grab our dumbbells again. This time we're gonna do our deadlifts with these dumbbells. Make sure you don't have a lot of knee bend. Up, uh, squeeze the glutes. There you go, make sure your back is straight, make sure your back is straight. I'm doing deadlifts. Keep your feet hip width apart. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. So let, let, let's go more narrow, Alex. Your feet, yeah, yeah. I think Tom as well, we need to step in a little bit more. Okay. Do two more, two, one. 
Good. Okay, so the number the number one rule and doing and deadlifts is a very advanced exercise. We're gonna work our way to it, but our number one rule is keeping our back straight. Anytime this starts happening, this is gonna put too much stress on the back. So making sure it's straight. That's the number one rule. Number two rule is make sure my feet is hip width and pointing the same direction and also making sure that my knees don't go past this line here. So I'm driving the motion from the hips. So the hips come back, boom, and up. So when I'm in this position, you're gonna feel this tension right in the hamstrings and that's what we want. Number three, okay, making sure your chest is pulled out. So you never want this, right? This is not engaging your lats. So every single time or every single part of the movement, your shoulders should be pulled back like this. So I'm keeping my chest out, right? So this is how it's supposed to look instead of having my shoulders rounded forward like this. Okay, let's do one more set, guys. I'm gonna grab your dumbbells. We're gonna put all those three rules to play and we're gonna do 12 reps. Um, ready three two one and one straight back chest out up squeeze two three make sure your toes are pointing forward four good five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. So anytime you're doing this uh, exercise, what I actually encourage you guys to do is try and find a long pull. Now I've done I've done this uh, demonstration in a few of the other classes as well because this is super common, right? I want to put this, I want to put this pull in my back, right? So this is where my spine is in this neutral place. The moment I round my back, you see how my back's not touching anymore. So when I'm doing this uh, deadlift, I'm not doing a proper form. So making sure that my whole back, including my head is touching, and then going in to do the deadlift is going to be key. So what I encourage you to do, Find a straight pull. Hey, Sean found one already, nice. Okay, let's put it in your back. Put it on your back, yeah, perfect. Line it up with your head and your bum. Now you'll feel like there's a gap in between your lower back and the pole. I want you to make sure you're sucking your core in enough and filling that gap. And then we do this deadlift. Okay, and try to come down. Yeah, good. Keep doing that. Sean, do you mind standing sideways for me? Perfect. Yeah, just keep doing that. Make sure your back is straight. Okay, let's knee bend, Alex. Good, yeah, Sean, that looks good, that looks good. So Alex, we wanna make sure we're not bending from the knees, right? So the, all the motion is coming from your hips. Okay, more, more hip, more hip, less knees. So this comes out. Yes, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, make sure you always have a slight bend in your knees, otherwise you are uh, putting too much stress on the knees. Awesome guys, why don't we put the pull down and then uh, let's do that, uh, let's do our deadlifts one more set and see if we can put those in play. So grabbing your dumbbells, we're gonna do 12 reps. Okay, 12 really, really good reps.
Ready, three, two, one, and one. Back is straight. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome, guys. We're going to get on the ground. We're going to hold our plank one more time. So, body on the ground. Make sure my forearm or my shoulders are above the, the elbows. And let's hold this position here. Let's do, let's try and do 40 seconds. See so how that goes. And go. Make sure you extend the legs, extend the legs. Nice. 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 You're breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Awesome. Let's go through all of those exercises one more time, and then we're going to spend some time at the end talking a little bit more about nutrition and how we're going to lay our workouts out. So, starting with our first exercise, feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, and you have your hands straight up in the air. Now, if you have your pole, one thing uh, I'm going to get you to do, place your pole up here. Okay. Now, what I want you to do in this position is do our squats. Okay, make sure you're keeping that pole straight. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four, drive the motion from your hips, not from the knees. Good. Keep going. Let's do five more, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's come down into our push-ups. Let's do 10 push-ups. Ready, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's it. Grabbing your dumbbells, we're gonna go into our rows. And go into our rows. And make sure you're keeping your chest out. Ready? Three, two, one, one. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and bring the dumbbells up. Ready? We're gonna do twelve of these. And one, pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, keeping your dumbbells on your head, we're gonna go in right into our deadlifts. Right into our deadlifts. And make sure your toes are pointed forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go into our lunges. Ten on each side. Ready? Three, two, one, and one. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good, switching sides. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, now we're going to come down into our plank again. Let's hold this for 40 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and hold. Good stuff, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that's kind of uh, all the exercising we're going to be doing today. Not very intense, right? Today is more of an assessment, just to so just so I can see kind of what your body can do. What I'm going to do is. Actually, I want to make sure first, does anybody have any medical conditions or injuries that I should know about? Uh, oh. So, uh, Tom before has some knee injury, but right now it's okay. Oh, okay. And squats are okay. Lunge is okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Uh, yourself? Uh, okay. Sean, how about you? Um, no, I don't have any injuries either. Okay, perfect. So I want to take uh, uh, the last little while. I want to talk a little bit about our training um, and then also talk a little bit about the nutrition that I want you guys to follow. Okay. First, uh, first thing regarding training is I want you to make sure what, cause today we did more so a full body workout, but what we're going to actually start doing is start focusing on isolating the muscle. What that means is we're going to isolate just the chest or just the shoulders, just the triceps, because when we're doing a full body workout, we're going to be burning too many calories. And that brings me to my next point. Uh, if you guys are currently doing any cardio at all, right? We, we want to stop doing cardio, okay? Cardio is going to make us burn too much calories, and we want to keep as many calories as we can inside of our body. When we're doing um, workouts, make sure you're taking a longer break in between your sets. Yeah, did you have a question? 
Okay, so keep, did you need to translate? Yeah, I will translate. It's okay. For okay. And just making sure that we're, we're, we're having a longer break in between each set. And why, we, why that reason is, is because, again, not getting our, our heart rate up is going to be key. So when we're doing exercises, make sure you're spending at least 30 to 40 seconds between each set. Regarding working out by yourselves, I want you to try to work. We're doing two sessions a week, I think, right? Yeah. So make sure you're working out at least once, okay? Not more than that, though, because more than that, you're going to be burning calories. At least once by yourself, uh, uh, other than our sessions. Okay. I want you to do... Um, so, say, say you work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday would be a lower body day. Wednesday would be upper body day. And then Friday would be a lower body day. Should be a two-to-one ratio. Okay. okay. And the reason why is because we want to get that our legs are a powerhouse. It's going to give us a lot of testosterone, a lot of growth hormones to make sure that um, we're growing enough muscles. Now, regarding nutrition, we have to be at a caloric surplus, meaning we have to eat more calories than we burn. So whatever your weight is right now, what's your weight, Alex? Uh, I don't measure it tonight. No. Oh. How about Tom? Seventy-five kilograms. Seventy-five kilograms. Okay. And Sean, how much do you weigh? Uh, I think around fifty. Okay. So what I'm gonna get you to guys to do is eat one point two grams of protein per pound of your weight every single day. 1.2 grams of protein per pound. So 75 times 2.2. Sorry, I should do some math here. 1.2. Ow. 2.2, 165 pounds. We're going to times that by one. Wait, per pound or per, per kilogram? Per pound, per pound. Okay. So for Tom, you're going to want to eat at least 190 grams of protein every day. Okay. Now, um, you guys, if you guys haven't downloaded the My Fitness Pal app, please get that downloaded and make sure you log in your food. For 1.2 grams, yeah. For each pound? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Now, um, so that's all. The, my fitness body is going to tell you the amount of carbohydrates and fats you need. So make sure you're putting your goal as gain weight. Um, what else is there? What else do I want to go over? Sorry, just give me one second here. Okay. So make sure you're really hit, hitting your nutrition goals. That's going to be key. Now, in terms of stretching, make sure you're not stretching before a workout. That's going to lengthen your muscles. Then you're going to lose your muscle power when you're working out. Try to also limit and minimize your stretching because um, when we're trying to build muscle, we stretch, we're going to lose some of that muscle as well. Okay? Uh, so number one rule, cut the cardio out, eat more, and, sh and stretch less. Is there any questions at all? Nope. No questions. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm going to get you guys to do is take a picture um, of your physique today, right, in the mirror, and then take a picture every two weeks or so, maybe three weeks, and just to kind of see the progress that you're making. Again, checking in on the scale is going to be a good idea because we want to make sure we're gaining weight. Okay. Okay. Perfect. No questions. Shang 
Yeah, James, I just talked about Shang. Yeah. He, yeah, he never do workout, but he did really good. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, I apologize. There's a lot of talking today, but it's, it's good to make sure that within the first session, we get all the ideas down and the concepts down of building muscle. And then starting the next few sessions, it's going to, the intensity is going to go up. We're going to make sure we're really sweating and working out. Okay. 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 Perfect. Question? You have a question? No more question? Okay. Sounds okay. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you are really good. Yeah. No more question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. All right. So. Thursday, right? Uh, yeah. I will see you guys on Thursday. I'm going to post this uh, today's session on YouTube and send it to you guys. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. Thank you. Good job today, guys. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.